This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got two dietitians with me because March is Nutrition Month. Thank you very much for joining us. I have got Chandra Snar and I've got Ashley Mo Moisek. Thanks for joining us. You are with the Rideau Community Health Services. How long have you been with, the, with them? Uh, just over five years I've been a dietitian with the the organization. And how about you? I think I've been with um, about seven years. Okay. okay. Yeah. I always like to ask a uh, dietitian that because it's such a, an area of, of interest to me too. What made you want to be a dietitian? Um, so actually it was when I was in school. I started out in a, just a general health science program and I realized how much nutrition impacts so many health conditions. And I just thought, you know, focusing on nutrition is really a way that I can help a lot of people better their lives and live, you know, long and healthy lives. So that's kind of what piqued my interest in nutrition. Oh, awesome. And yeah. what about you? Oh, uh, I had a family friend who was quite a bit older than me that was in school for, uh, to be a dietitian. So that kind of got me thinking about it. I've always loved sciences. Um, and when I was in high school, my grandfather got quite ill. And so my mom got really into nutrition and just kind of stemmed from there. And that applied for nutrition, yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Now we're here to talk about Rideau Community Health Services as well too. Covers a big wide area. What area do you cover? So we are both mainly in the diabetes education program. So we are both certified diabetes educators. We see uh, people one-on-one, -on -one, uh, group counseling, nutrition demos. So that's, but basically we focus mostly on diabetes education. Okay, and yeah. you do the whole area wherever you're needed? Is that what you do? Yeah, so we travel throughout the Leeds, Grenville, Lanark area. Mm -hmm. um, we travel to different doctor's offices. Um, I go as far as Prescott, Gananoque, sometimes up to Smith Falls. I, my main office is in Brockville, but we do a little bit of everything, yeah. All right, and, and, and then I'm Smith Falls, Merrickville, Westport, um, kind Wherever of there's a need. Perth, yep. Okay. So we have our main offices, Smith Falls and Brockville, and then we also have a third office in Perth. Uh, and then we go to, you know, we rent different locations or go into different doctor's offices in the area so that our clients don't have to drive as far and we come to them. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now you, you focus on diabetes education. Yes. Do people, you know, I, I assume they go to the doctor first, find out they've got a diagnosis, then they come to you or do, is there a referral process? How do people get involved with you once they've been diagnosed? Yeah, so most of the time that's exactly how it works. Mm -hmm. They get blood work done, their doctor diagnoses them with prediabetes or diabetes, sends a referral, and then we see them at which, uh, whichever location is going to suit them best. Sometimes we do get self-referrals, so you, you, don't, do. yeah, okay. you don't necessarily need a doctor or a health professional to refer you. You can just call our number and our receptionist will do a little intake form over the phone and we can see you that way too. Okay, now what's the difference between prediabetes and diabetes? So prediabetes, it's just, um, it, it depends on what your blood work is showing. So that's how it's diagnosed. It's based on something called your hemoglobin A1C. If your hemoglobin A1C, which is the sugar coating on your red blood cells, it's about a three month average of how your blood sugars have been doing. Um, if it's between six and 6.4%, that's a diagnosis of prediabetes. And we kind of consider that reversible. It's a warning sign that if things continue and progress, you likely will develop diabetes, but you can reverse it at that stage. Once your A1C hits 6.5%, uh, then that's considered a diagnosis of diabetes. And that is sort of less reversible at that stage. Uh, there is per perhaps a chance now that there's something called diabetes remission uh, that's kind of coming out um, to be more popular, but that's uh, con considered to be a diagnosis of diabetes. But still, people can live very long, healthy lives, even if they're diagnosed with diabetes, especially if they work with us, we can yes. help them kind of guide them on a path to keep their, their uh, blood sugars from progressing to a point where they maybe have complications. And I really, th this A1C blood test that you, you were talking about, I mean, it goes back three months. So you can't yeah. just think, okay, I'm going for blood work in two weeks, I'll behave myself for a couple no. of weeks. No, nope, <laughs> it doesn't right. work. No, nope, it doesn't work yeah. that way. Three months. Three yeah. months, exactly. Wow. It's because your red blood cells live for three months, and so uh, it's kind of a good estimate of how they've been picking up sugar along their lifespan. So that's how it's a three-month average. All right. Um, can I ask, like, do most people who come in and they have some things they need to talk to you because they've been diagnosed with diabetes, are they surprised at their diet? Or are they, are they surprised they thought they were healthier? Or it's like, obviously, I knew I was going to get to this point. I, well, I, Both. Yeah. Both? <laughs> we okay. have a bit of everything. Yep. A bit yeah. of everything. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We have some people that have lived 50 or 60 years and have never really thought of too much about what they put in their mouth, right? right. 
um, which is quite common, and other people who, you know, drink a lot of juice and think that that's healthy. Yes. And so we get kind of a mixture of everything. Yeah, that, that's an eye-opener. I always tell people, label, you got to read your labels. Mm -hmm. Yes. Read your labels. So yeah. we do a lot of teaching of label reading in office, for sure. Yeah. 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 Some people are working really hard already on their mm -hmm. diet. They're exercising, they're doing every, everything they can, but they maybe have a strong family history of diabetes. So some people are really disappointed when they hear they have diabetes. They thought, I've tried so hard and I still got it. So it's, it's important to remember that it's not always your fault. Sometimes right. there's other factors. Right. Yeah. And it's the fact that you say too, like if you work with you and, and you, know, you do the menu planning, the meal planning and, and meal prep, yeah, it's very healthy living, and it's good for everybody in the family, even the person, the people in the family that aren't diabetic. Yep. If you follow and what you're going to, you're going to plan for them. It's a very healthy li living exactly. style. Exactly, yeah. absolutely. What we teach is really what we would teach anyone who just wants to eat healthier and improve their nutritional status. Um, there's no really specific diabetes diet. So, as you say, it's great for the rest of the family too. So is, is there like, what, are there education classes or are they just available when you, on a need, as needed basis sort of thing? Or yeah, so, so, so when we get a referral in, we kind of, we do a triage process where we figure out, would this person be good for a group or would they be best to meet us one-on-one -on -one or maybe both? Uh, so we have both to offer. We also have uh, specific classes for things like specifically focused on nutrition or carb counting, depending on what people need. So we sort of have a variety of services depending on what people need. We also have something called a home monitoring program. So that's, I mean, people are a bit more mm. techie and they'd rather not come to an appointment but just be monitored online. We have an app that they use. So that's that's a neat little tool we came up with in the, over the pandemic actually. So. Yeah. I, I, you, you must come across a lot of people as, as like, if I can't have butter on it, I'm not eating it. Or if I can't have sugar in it, I'm not drinking my coffee. I, you, know, you must have to deal with a lot of life yeah. changes, which are huge to some people. Absolutely. And really the best thing we can do for these people is to meet them where they're at. Yep. Um, we really, really strive to do client-centered care, which is, you know, understanding people's um, decisions and just kind of harm reduction, uh, essentially. Absolutely, harm yeah. reduction, absolutely. And yeah. I mean, the treat, <laughs> we have yeah. a diabetic sized piece of cake and a normal sized <laughs> piece of cake. You can still have, you know, in moderation. Absolutely. You yeah. know, it's not, you can't take it all away and everything. Mm -hmm. And like, I, 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 you, you must have to come up against these people as like, I'm not gonna stop eating this, I'm not gonna stop eating. But the fact that they're coming to see you, yeah, yeah, they've opened that door. Exactly, and there's always something else we can support. Yeah, support people with. So if they're not willing to change one area, there's probably another opportunity where they say, you know what, I could compromise on that one. So yeah. there's always something we can work with. Or if all else fails, perhaps they just need some help with their medications. If there's really mm -hmm. at a stage in life where they cannot change anything, and sometimes you know it's our mental health that's an issue or yes. other things going on that we're just not ready to change. And that's Finances. where we can, yeah, we yeah. can find a different area to work on. So there's always and, something we can help with. And, and sure. being part of the Rita Community Health Services too, you, you are such a big uh, or organization that it's not just you. If you see mental health, you've got, you, you know who to call. It's somebody in the next office or somebody, you know, in your catchment area too. Yeah, that sort exactly. Of thing. Physically, mental health, anything yeah. like that. You, you're such a, you don't just do nutrition. Yeah, no, exactly. You pretty good support services yeah. yes. for sure. For sure. Yeah. We can sure. connect people with those resources, yeah. whether it's with our organization or sometimes in Brockville, there's other organizations right. that can help out. So yeah. yeah, you definitely get to learn, learn the communities. Exactly. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And try to help people with food security issues as well. Yes. We do have client needs fund and um, different community social workers that can meet with them one-on-one -on -one and help them with financial situations or help filling out forms for insurance coverage and so we are pretty blessed that way we do have kind of everyone under one roof for the most part yeah and that's yeah uh, quite a good point there too because people may want to eat healthy but it's very expensive sometimes especially now right, right now. Mm -hmm. it is yeah for sure for sure yeah. now how do people get a hold of you where do they find you you're probably both in different <laughs> locations. We're in different, yeah. and we travel around quite a bit. So our Brockville location is at uh, 100 Strouger Boulevard. Um, so uh, we have a great website as well, uh, RidoCHS.ca, where all of our contact information is. Mm -hmm. Smith Falls Office, two Gould, two Gould, two Gould Street. Street, the old yeah. high school. If you're from Smith Falls, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. So everyone knows where that is, kind of by the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yep. Excellent. And then they can just call or have their doctor refer them and. 
Yeah. Yeah, you've got a Facebook page and a website, all that sort of stuff. We yeah, do. So, you could yeah. like us on Facebook, then you'll get notified about our different cooking demos or other things that we're doing. Uh, and it, I mean, it, it, you do so much education and awareness for all sorts of different things there too. So just yeah. keep an eye on your Facebook page and yep. and you, you'll learn all sorts of, it's open yeah. to the public. So. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Once again, I have got Chandra Snar and I've got uh, Ashley Moisek. Thanks for joining us today thank and telling you. us thanks more about us. Uh, healthy living styles, healthy nutrition. March is Nutrition Month, so thanks for joining us. Thank you.